People in the epicenter of the worst modern pandemic are still finding their footing three months after emerging from a strict lockdown. Markets are back open, but officially there's a ban on selling wild meat, like at the wet market where the first cases of COVID-19 emerged. A WHO team will now investigate how the virus jumped from animal to human. We know it's, it's very, very similar to the virus in the bat, but did it go through an intermediate species? So this is a question we all need answered. Bats have passed around coronaviruses for thousands of years. Because they're mammals, humans are susceptible to the pathogens they incubate. But it's still not confirmed which bat species it originated with and where, though that may be of questionable value to epidemiologists. I am not sure that pointing to the exact geographic location is very helpful unless we have a clear idea of some particular uh, animal uh, uh, mankind interaction. That may be difficult to prove. It took a team from Wuhan's Virology Institute a decade to nail down the exact population of horseshoe bat that carried the SARS virus. But it's not clear how it was passed on to humans and other animals a thousand kilometers away. Still, knowing where it started could prevent future outbreaks. If it's in a, a bat species that's distributed across China or Asia, that's a different story than if it's a really localized species. So maybe there would be efforts such as restricting access to where high-risk bats are. Maybe it's thinking about animals that might be in contact with those bats if bats are the source. As human activity encroaches more on animal habitat, the continued emergence of new viruses is inevitable. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.